Hey guys, this is Tim from DimDrive.com with a quick video on how the DimDrive Gaming RAM disk works with Steam. So in this video, we're gonna show the integration within Steam and just general functionality of how it works. So we're gonna run DimDrive here and you'll see a quick pop-up window that uh, DimDrive is logging me into the software. And we're gonna see all the different Steam games start to appear on the lower right list. And if we take a look at my Steam here, you'll notice uh, you know, Baldur's Gate, Titan's Quest, Torchlight, and whatever. We'll see Baldur's Gate here, we'll see uh, Titan's Quest, we'll see Torchlight. And to get this to work, you'll wanna set up your size of your RAM disk here. We're just gonna set to five. We're gonna pick a game. Uh, let's just do Torchlight here. So we're gonna click the on button. It's gonna have you select which program you'll run for Torchlight. It's Torchlight 2. And basically that's it. We're gonna click the on button. And <clears throat> what's gonna happen now is Dim Drive's gonna uh, synchronize the Torchlight data with your RAM disk. It's gonna create all the symbolic links. It's gonna set everything up in Steam and, or whatever program, whether it's a Steam program or whether it's another game. Dim Drive's gonna set it all up and that's it. Now we can launch the game within Steam by clicking uh, the um, icon for the game right here and you notice Torchlight loaded. We hit the play button and it'll pop up the uh, windowed mode, I think by default here. And so we're gonna close this. So you can launch the game directly within uh, Dim Drive, or let's go back to my Steam app. Let's say we wanna launch it uh, directly within Steam. Just click on, you know, Torchlight, click on play, and it's gonna launch the game directly from your RAM drive. So for example, we're gonna hit play again here, and it launches immediately. Now, the way we know for sure that it's running from the RAM disk versus your normal computer is simply by going into your Steam directory. Uh, for me, it's on my uh, four terabyte drive. You notice all my different folders here. Well, I've got a folder right here called Torchlight 2. If you go to properties, it'll say in Windows, Torchlight 2 is a symbolic link to my Y directory, my Y Steam game directory. Uh, now keep that in mind, my Y directory, we go back into Dim Drive and my Y drive right here is uh, the drive I have set up. Now, another thing to note is Dim Drive will synchronize the drive or the game in your uh, your Steam game in your RAM drive directly with the game on your actual hard drive. So when you play Torchlight 2, let's use this for an example. We're gonna launch Torchlight 2, and this is being launched out of the RAM drive. We're gonna hit play. Um, we're gonna go into the setups, and we're gonna modify, we're just gonna, we're gonna make a, um, let's, uh, Let's make Torchlight be a little bit bigger, 1600 by 900. All right, then we're gonna close it. And notice down here, file sync, you notice another one of these files, install script.vdf. So that is a, a file that exists on the RAM drive, but Dim Drive has synchronized it back to your actual hard drive. So we're gonna turn this off now and I, I imagine that install script.vdf maybe has something about how you actually start this game in the first place. But now Dim Drive is turned off. And if you go back into um, your Steam directory, we notice that Torchlight no longer is a symbolic link shortcut over to Dim Drive. So when we go back into Steam and launch Torchlight as we normally would, we're gonna hit play. We'll notice that the uh, that the game window is a little bit bigger. Notice it's 1600 by 900 instead of, uh, I think it was uh, something by 720. Yeah, it was 1280, it used to be 1280 by 720. Now it's 1600 by 900. And that just kind of demonstrates that the synchronizing ability of Dim Drive will take a file from your RAM drive when it's modified and it'll put it on over to your uh, actual hard drive that it normally runs off of. Now Torchlight um, is a very small game. It doesn't have uh, very much data to it. It's only 1.9 gigs. So you could close that, turn that off, and you could configure um, a larger game. Let's say uh, Skyrim is a game that benefits, that benefits immensely from a RAM drive. So you would locate, for example, Skyrim. You would wanna make sure that your RAM disk is a little bit bigger. My Skyrim is 14 gigs in size. Um, there are a lot of people who have Skyrim directories that are 25 gigs to even 30 gigs once, once you have all the different mods. But let's say you um, let's say you don't have that much RAM. You only have let's say six gigs of RAM. But Skyrim, you, you want to play this in your dim drive. 
um, but it's 14 gigs or 20 gigs or whatever uh, size it is. You'll basically want to set it back to on. Um, we're going to set the Tez uh, executable. Now, that executable you pick is only if you want to launch the game within Dim Drive. If you don't want to launch it in Dim Drive, it doesn't really matter. If you want to launch it from Steam, you know, just launch it from Steam. Um, but just for ease, you can launch it within Dim Drive. Now, if you don't have 14 gigs, uh, for example, if we try to start Dim Drive, the game is 14 gigs, Dim Drive says 6. If we try to start it, it'll say the size of your game is you know, not the right size. You need, uh, you need more, basically. Uh, but what you can do now is you can click this wrench here. You can click this option that says less RAM and you can pick the files that you want to load uh, super fast from Dim Drive. So Dim Drive will actually go through and it'll enumerate all the different files that make up the core of what Skyrim is. Now, just for an example, let's say you had, let's say readme.txt, let's pretend that this was a actual video sequence. Like let's say if it was a two gigabyte video file for maybe some introduction or something like that. Well, a video file like that, you don't really need to have a giant file like that on your RAM disk. So because of that, don't select it. Readme.txt doesn't really apply. However, for Skyrim, you'll notice that the data directory is 13 gigs. Well, you can expand this directory and you can pick what specific files you wanna play. So let's say you're playing Skyrim and you're not doing any of the Dawnguard stuff, you're not doing um, Dragonborn stuff, you, you don't have a ton of add-ons for Skyrim, you just have the basic Skyrim stuff. So you notice this list is ordered by size. Um, pick the high-res texture pack, the other texture pack, um, and let's pick uh, let's pick just Don Guard. Let's say you're not doing any Dragonborn stuff. You're just doing that. You submit your selection. You notice it says 4.8 gigs in size. Um, so now your setup is 4.8 gigs instead of the whole 14 gigs. And now you could hit the on button, and it, uh, Dim Drive will synchronize all those files with your actual RAM disk, and it'll prepare symbolic links in the actual game directory. And what a symbolic link is, a symbolic link basically will take a file from your original location, it'll put it in a new location, but the original location will think that the file is still there. So when you access the file from the original location, you're actually pulling it from the new location. Now the original location is a slow platter drive. The new location is a RAM disk which gets monstrous speeds. And so now when you start Skyrim, uh, we're not going to start it, but now when you do start Skyrim, it'll load that, uh, that uh, gaming texture file directly from your RAM drive. And you can verify that by going into your Steam ins installation folder, going to your data directory, and DonGuard. See this DonGuard right here? It's got this little icon. This little icon, whenever Windows tries to read DonGuard.bsa, it's going to read it from the Y directory. And the Y directory, as you can see, is a folder that we've created on our RAM disk. It's Y, Steam, blah, blah, blah. And we can go in, back into Dim Drive and see the Y directory um, is the RAM disk drive that we created. You can pick whatever letter you want. And if we go into the, the Y directory, we notice that there is a, uh, a folder that's created that has Steam, the Steam ID, and then the game, and then it has the particular files that you have copied over to your RAM disk. And for us, if you remember, we, we specified the Don Guard and a couple uh, high texture packs. And uh, the, the more amount of RAM you have, uh, the better. But for those of you, not everybody's going to have you know 30 gigs of RAM or whatever. So for those of you who know what particular files or can kind of take a guess, Skyrim, for example, Don Guard is an expansion for Skyrim. It's pretty easy to guess you know, what files have what impact. You can specify those files. Um, so we're going to close this, and we're going to minimize this, um, and we're going to turn this back off. And so that's basically, in a nutshell, how Dim Drive interfaces with Steam. It automatically detects your Steam game. It enables you to basically one-click or two-click, depending on if you're setting it up for the first time. Um, for example, we're going to click Torchlight on, we're going to turn on Dim Drive, and that's it. Dim Drive is now configured for Torchlight. If we're going to do it for Skyrim, Call of Duty, um, just click to enable it, turn it on, and bam, play it within Steam. We can launch it directly within Steam here. You can launch it directly from Dim Drive. If you happen to have a shortcut on your desktop, this is Firefox, but if you happen to have a shortcut on your desktop for Torchlight, run it from the uh, Torchlight shortcut however you want. So Dim Drive will detect all your Steam games. 
It'll one or two click interface and set up your RAM drive directly with Steam. Remember the file sync window? Dim drive will synchronize any file changes with your RAM disk game to your hard drive game. So let's say you're saving game files, you're updating game configurations. Maybe the game itself is updating while you play it. All those files get synchronized. So when you turn off your computer, you don't lose those changes. If your PC crashes, you don't lose that data. So um, that's basically Steam and using Dim Drive in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please visit the uh, divdrive.com website, click on the forum link and ask whatever question you have and I will or the community will hopefully answer it uh, right away. Thanks for watching and I will have more videos shortly.